Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm here with Kevin TV player Marty Waters, and it's time to get down to action. Hashtag Ask Marty. We posted in the <laughs> League of Ireland group chat, which you're a member of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the lads are always asking for a shout out in that group, so I'm going to give them a shout out now. I believe you have some words for them as well. Uh, I don't know, I have to say, like the lads that they that have set up, it's it's absolutely brilliant. Like because they're looking out for the league. It's not like the the fans are actually coming on looking at everything good about the league. It's not about like slagging other teams off or something like that. It's about getting the league as best as they can. Like and yeah. it's building up the league. So and then also what the other clubs, as you were saying there, and um, also what the other clubs are trying to do right for. Uh, and what they're trying to basically, you know, produce. Yeah, it, it, it is helping. Like it's it's not only help it's helping clubs as well because like the more the more they see that's that's good with the league world, the the more people will come in and say, Oh, let's get season tickets to here or there, you know what I mean? So and I think every club kinda of are trying their best to lower season tickets and get people in, you know. Yeah, well that's all from getting the fans but, in, uh, you know. It, it it is coming from fans as well, you know, so and um, credit to them, they're absolutely brilliant. Well, there's a shout out, lads. Um, so actually, one of the main people in the group, actually, Lewis Shaw, he has the first question for you. Um, Hi, Marty, do you think Cabin Teal can finish in the top half of the table? Uh, yeah, I do. I think um, we, we've kind of got a core of the squad, I think. I think they're signed back. I'm not sure. I'm not going to say too much because uh, just in case they're not. Yeah, yeah. Just to <laughs> but um, no, I, I think I think well that if, if one part of the team that's the vision I want to I want to try and do our best to to go up. You know what I mean? I think promotion is at the start. Everyone's on zero points. So yeah, would that be, would that be the, the main objective now in the season coming? For me, I'd love to. I'd love to, I'd, especially with Captain Teary being the the new. The new kids on the block, I think it'd be a, it'd be a great uh, achievement for for the area yeah. alone. But it's uh, cool that set up. It was down there. I was down there for the um, Waterford game. Where you can see it was down there. Yeah, I thought, uh, it was just the coolest day. It was very old school, like in, in the way. It's, the you know, for for what they are doing with the stadium and stuff like that, they've they put an awful lot of work into that. Like they really, really have, and they've got it into a condition where it's very, very playable. Now, <laughs> when when they started off. It wasn't like that. So, yeah. the people involved in the club that have came in day to day working on how are they gonna better the club? How are they gonna do things? How how is it? How is it gonna benefit the team? And yeah. um, that's all down to them, you know. And like, they're a credit to the club. So definitely, yeah. Um, right. Dylan McGuire says, "Marty, absolute legend." Um, my question is though, what's been the standout moment for you at Cabot? Uh, just getting back, I probably, I don't know, just getting back scoring goals, you know, because when when you're a goal scorer and like you're, if you're playing out of position, you're not scoring goals, sometimes it gets to you and you don't be happy, you know what I mean? So, like, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think that's the the most happiest thing about it was me getting back playing and doing stuff that I'm like just trying you know trying off like n not no fear whatsoever uh, what's goals. Uh, I got a goal against New Zealand I think that for me this season was one of the highlights that was the national team wasn't it yeah, yeah like it's an international friendly like and I managed to score against them I think that was the one of the highlights for the season that, for me because we were playing against <laughs> really good opposition, you know, and uh, some of them players are playing all around the world. Like, in I think Chris Wood was new playing. Chris Wood was playing. He done really well that day. Like, but um, he's playing for Brandy now. I think they had one or two players playing for Marseille, and uh, there was one, a handful playing for Ipswich as far as I know. So, but uh, no, that was that was a standout moment. But I think what wraps it up was the Player of the Year award. Uh, the award could have been given to Georgie. He finished top goal scorer. It could have been given to Davy. He won the league and he done really, really well. So uh, to be up there in amongst that and being able to win it was was huge. So I would say winning the Player of the Year award was the best. Look, so, um, Gareth Breen says, um, I feel like Al Porter on blind dates here. I'm arranging this. <laughs> oh, he's me broke, Gareth. Uh, loved the bits. He's 
he always looks out for you, Sam, with a bit of luck. It's people like him kind of bigging up this show with a bit of luck, it'll go far. So, That's much you know, appreciated, more, thank more you. More people like him. Um, Killian Fitzmaurice says, what was your favourite moment with Rovers as a player and as a fan? Oh, geez. as a player, it has to be scoring against Bowles. <laughs> I know the Bowles people won't, won't be happy with that, but... Um, Ah sure, well Din like, Dinny Dinny had his mom. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Honestly God, playing in them games, there is no fixture like a Bowls and Rovers game in League of Women football. There's just it's a uh, the holy grail of Irish football is yeah. is that fixture. Um now I got I got two headers against Bowls. Um one one we won the game, I think it was three one. Uh, wasn't even supposed to play. That was in daily mounts, and uh, Trevor Crowley took me along. I was I was injured, and uh, he knew what it meant, and to me to play in that game, yeah. and uh, he took me along, and I was injured, and after seventy minutes, I think Ronan Finn scored a diving header at the back post, just as about as I was gonna come on, and I kind of cut the the tension a bit because yeah. it was. It was one off, and um, I came on then within two, maybe three minutes, I think it was. Simon Madden got the ball down the right, Roy Wayne crossed the ball again, managed to power head out of it in. And I tell you what, I went off like it was the only goal I've scored in my career. Just happiness, you know. So. Well, they are Rovers fans. Can you know, uh, that was a. Well, as, as, was a sorry, as a fan, uh, I went to White Hart Lane, I was in the number. Probably the best eight, eight minutes of football a League of Ireland team has had. Uh, I was taking the lead at Spurs, wasn't it? What's it called? Yeah, uh, that was just insane. Just insane. The roar. I think uh, the Spurs fans didn't know what happened. You know, this this team, this this team from li Little Ireland, you know, uh, took the lead at White Hart Lane, and Jesus, you wouldn't you wouldn't take it back. That, that's a memory you'll take to, to the grave, you know. So, happy enough with that. Really, I'm sure you'd be happy with, uh, with that answer anyway. Um, Marty, what, or Keen, Keen Darcy says, Marty, what was the best thing you achieved as a footballer? Uh, probably th this year, um, the first division player of the year. Uh, I haven't been blessed with medals. I've been blessed with being part of good teams with some great players, but unfortunately I haven't been blessed with medals. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'd say, I'd say uh, the Player of the Year award per for a personal achievement. So um, now you could go down through the teams that kind of won Player of the Years at the clubs, but I think for the league to vote you as being Player of the Year was that was special. So special, yeah. happy enough for that. Okay, um, Cameron Gordon says, "Will you miss playing Waterford FC?" <laughs> uh, with a couple of laughing faces, a football symbol, and a <laughs> trophy emoji. They were they were very good this season. Now they they were they were very good. Um, I enjoyed playing against it because the players they had were they were like a core of Premier Division players. So, yeah, they 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 were tougher opposition, and it's always good to play against tough opposition because you know where you stand as a footballer, you know. Yeah. And uh, I think. With what they're doing this year, I hope they maintain their place in the Premier Division. It's a club it, like Cavendish. They're trying to do everything right. They're trying to go forward. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I say I say miss them because their pitch was quite good as well. So ah, she will see them there. <laughs> um, right, uh, Marty or uh, Jerry Keller says, Jerry's a big fan of the show. Come on, Jerry. Uh, Marty, will you? What will you? What will you be doing to keep your fitness ticking over during the winter and Christmas break? Could have playing a could have playing a lot of Astro at the moment. So that that for fitness wise is is great because like you're running around, especially if you're with your mates, you 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 don't even realise you're putting in some work, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh you're expressing yourself kinda doing tricks and doing whatever, you know. So uh but You can get away with it. <laughs> yeah, that's it, you can get away with it. But um, no, it's good. Cool. The kind of Astros keeping us ticking over, but we've kind of been down on Mondays and Wednesdays with Cavendish as well. They're kind of accommodating players, kind of giving them 
little games and game time and stuff like that, and train and exercise and stuff. So, kind of doing bits and bobs where just we'll be all keep right. you taking over. Yeah, kind of taking you over till the start of January. And yeah. that, that's when pre season will come in, and then that that's Enjoy the as well. <laughs> I think I've missed out the, the, the last two of them, the last two pre seasons because. Do you find it's um, harder to come back if you miss the pre season and then coming in? Like, it is. Pre season, it, like, it is for a reason. You know, and I've missed I've missed two the last two pre seasons through uh, situations where I thought I was gonna sign with different clubs and being up in arms and going, geez, where am I gonna be? Where what what's going on? So uh, the later you hold off, the worse it is because if you're signed to a club that means they can have you in training away or if you go to them you they'll they'll sort something for you, you know, so uh, it's it's tough when you don't have a pre season because you are that bit behind. But uh, you probably you probably take a, the best part of a month, and that's putting in extra training sessions. Like so, yeah, yeah it is. Uh, you have to do bits and bobs over the the window to keep taking over. Yes, you reap the rewards when you do it. Yeah. Um. Right, Tom Clancy, uh, at T Clancy, on Twitter says, "Why is he called Marty?" You laughed at the <laughs> Yeah, um, me they call me Marty because it's my middle name. Uh, what's it called my dad's name's Kieran. Uh, and then Senior. Kieran Senior, yeah. And what's it called my cousins are named like their names are Kieran, like scattered through the family. So, uh, to save all confusion, they call me by my middle name. Now, like that, my friends, my friends didn't know my real name was Kieran. Until we were like fifteen, because that's a classic. It's just a, uh, it's just one of those things. You just, you don't ask questions. They just yeah, you just, go just call you by the nickname. That's it. You know what I mean? But that's the reason why. Me, yeah, well, that's you. interesting. I hope you're happy with that one now, Tom. Uh, Alex, Alex Bishop says favorite goal in a Cabo shirt. I think you may have already answered that one though. Uh, yeah, the favorite goal. It would be the the New Zealand game. I think, I think it it's not down to the quality of goal. I think it was down to the, op- the opposition. opposition yeah. You know, so, but um, no, I scored. Thankfully, scored a a good few goals this season. But um, I scored a goal against Cove from outside the box, and uh, that probably be the the better goal. But yeah. I think the New Zealand goal for me was the the best. Would be your favorite then? Yeah, that would be my favorite song. Alright, um, that's just one you can laugh at now. Uh, Kev Knight says, who's your favourite player <laughs> to play with at Cabin TV? Kev Knight. Uh, Kev Knight. <laughs> 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 no, he's a, he's, he's a bro. So, um, what's it called? Jesus, he's, he's like my partner and client. Batman so, and Robin. Uh, yeah, Batman and Robin. Lloyd, <laughs> Lloyd and Harry, <laughs> uh, Harry and Marv, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Laurel and Hardy. Yeah, he's just, he, 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 you can buzz off Kev, you know what I mean? So, like, I'd say he'd be the, the man. Right. I, I have a personal question I just wanted to ask you. Um, what was it like playing with Jason Brown? Obviously, he's been around the league <sighs> uh, as, you know. What is there to say? You know, he's won everything. He's won everything. Um, he's been... I've thankfully been in three setups where he's been there and uh, the the help the help alone you know what what he does when he when he comes into the dressing room he'll cut the tension up you know and like if you're a young lad sitting there you're watching him coming through the door you're like sitting there going oh jeez what's what, 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 what's this lad going to be like and then when he starts getting his antics going you're just like Jesus this lad's brilliant you know what I mean yeah. he's um, if you were to meet him in person, I know what's called teams around the league probably hate him because he scored against him because he's good. You know what I mean? But uh, you have to have some of that. You're not good if, if yeah, that's it. You're not doing so, You're not doing anything right. No one hates you. You know what I mean? But um, no, what a what a what a guy. But uh, I have to say, being part of setups that he's been there, he's helped me leaps. Like I've, I've, I think I've come on leaps and bounds by watching him. Learn about him, like asking him questions. What will like ask him? What will I do if if a defender is stuck to me? Like he'll say, literally, just calm down. 
move into space, just look, keep looking for space, change your game up, you know what I mean? So, but um, no, I, I would have hoped for them to stay on at Camp TV so some of the younger lads could, could learn Definitely. by him, you know, because I think the experienced players that we had last season were absolutely brilliant. And I think the young lads were learning the, each game going boy, they were getting better, getting better. So, yeah, yeah we're, he's going to be a big loss to us anyway. So. I'm actually, I'm actually good friends with Aaron Robinson. Yeah, yeah. Robbo's a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Robbo's a legend. Right he's a good brand, doesn't he? Ah, oh, best hair in the club for sure. <laughs> he's got a good <laughs> Best hair, he knows it as well. Yeah, not bad for a ginger. <laughs> yeah, like that I'm happy that. Yeah, ah, sure, no. This is it. Well, uh, thanks very much for coming on, man. That was brilliant. Oh, 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 thank you very um, much for having me. Guys, check it out on uh, YouTube as well. We're aiming for 1,000 subscribers. If you get over there and subscribe, Mark himself now is a subscriber. Yeah, uh, it, it, as I said, it's. What, what you're doing is trying to big up the, the league and interview the players and show them show them what the real players are like. There's not many egos in League of Ireland football, you know what I mean? So that'll take you to go in and notice that. So yeah, thank you very much. No problem. Guys, as well as that, if, you, if there's anyone that you want to get on the show, just uh, send us a, a message or someone that we can try to get them on. Uh, we'll do it. Uh, thanks very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Have a great week. Cheers, man. Always, man. Great stuff. Pleasure.